Hello everyone, my name is K. Chanchiretti, working as an assistant professor in Tigar Krishna Engineering College. Welcome to my channel. My channel name is Accelerator Research. Okay. This video, I will explain about electrical and, electrical and hybrid vehicle subjects. Okay. These are the my previous videos related to electrical and hybrid vehicle subject. Okay. This total video is related to JN2H R18 syllabus. Okay. Now I will explain this class, this video. Electrical and hybrid vehicle subject. Okay, this is R18 syllabus. Uh, syllabus J N Q H. Okay, this video I will explain. This fifth chapter, chapter five, case studies. Okay, case studies have two topics: design of hybrid vehicles and the second one is design of battery vehicles. These two concepts I will discuss today. Okay, uh, I am referring this case studies. Okay, finger. Test book. Okay, this is the book. Hybrid vehicles, finger brief, scene control, automation and robotics. This is the DOI ID. Okay, if you want to, if need, if you need this material, okay, download this D, uh, test book from by using this DOI ID. Okay, I will provide DOI ID in description link. Now I will start my presentation. Okay, case studies. Case studies means this designing already designed. In, uh, we are referring uh, papers, case studies, and literature survey and literature review. These all are related to same. Okay, this case studies have mainly two topics. One is the design of battery electric vehicle. One is the BEV. And the second one is design of hybrid vehicle. Okay. In hybrid vehicle, you have two topics. One is the parallel hybrid vehicle. Second one is power split uh, vehicle. Okay. Total three vehicles. One is the battery vehicle, hybrid vehicle. So first one is the parallel hybrid vehicle. Second, power split hybrid vehicle. This is the battery hybrid battery vehicle diagram the bat, uh, battery electric vehicle battery electric vehicle battery electric vehicle diagram in this diagram have this is the battery charger okay this is the battery bank okay this battery bank this battery is charging through this battery charger this battery bank connected to the power converter input the power converter output connected to the motor okay here mainly Total six, seven, uh, seven major parts. One is the battery charger. Second one is the battery bank. Third one is the power converter. Power, fourth one is the motor. This is the transmission. Okay, this transmission. This one is the driving wheel. Okay, the uh, differential, not driving. This is the differential. These two are wheels. Okay, this wheels. Uh, this differential connected to these two wheels. This transmission link connected to the motor and this differential. Okay. This power converter output connected to the three phase motor. Okay. Here I have three lines. These three lines are the three phases. Okay. AC motor. This battery bank output connected to the power converter. This power converter input connected to the battery. Okay. This battery input connected to the battery charger. This is the design of battery electric vehicle. Okay. This motor usual for rotating this vehicle. Okay. Next, this power converter it converting DC to AC by using power electronic devices. It converts DC to AC. DC to AC means this is the inverter. Okay. This is the battery bank. This is the design of battery electric vehicle. Okay. These two are two wheels. Next, this is the parallel hybrid vehicle arc structure. Okay. This circuit is parallel hybrid vehicle. In this vehicle, have I will explain first major major equipment. Okay, this is the engine, this is the motor, this is the battery, okay. Engine, motor, battery, this is the gearbox, this is the fixed differential. These two are two wheels. Okay, this is the uh, this gearbox link between this engine and the motor. Now I will explain here the first example of hybrid power trend is the parallel arc, a parallel arc structure shown in figure okay in this case study 
I refer I referred to this diagram from Swinger Baker. This is the first hybrid uh, hybrid uh, power train of parallel arc structure. Here parallel parallel means this engine and the motor connected to parallel. The internal combustion engine, the electric motor are mechanically connected to the uh, mechanically connected through a power split. Okay, here this is the internal combustion engine. This is the motor. Okay, internal combustion engine and motor. These two are connected mechanically coupled with power splitter. This is the power um, uh, connected to splitter box. This is the splitter box in which their respective torque outputs are summed. Okay, these two outputs, engine output and motor output connected to here. Okay, this box. These two outputs are these two uh, torque outputs connected here. Okay, this gearbox, this gearbox output connected to the fixed difference here. Okay, next to this point, a conventional five speed gearbox GB is presented between the engine and the motor and to the wheels. Okay, this is the GB. GB means this is the gearbox. In this bear, this gearbox is conventional five speed, five speed gearbox. Okay, first gear, second, third, four, like this is the five speed gearbox GB presented between this engine and motor these two are inputs this gearbox output connected to the wheels wheels means fixed difference here okay this, this is the difference here this is gearbox output this engine and motor are the motor are the gearbox inputs these two next here clutch okay this is clutch clutch used for connecting and disconnecting the power from engine to wheels okay clutch is presented to disconnect the engine from gearbox input shaft uh, clutch is presented to disconnect the engine from the gearbox okay this this clutch used for disconnecting the engine okay this engine supply disconnecting through this gearbox okay during gear shifted and and to allow the electrically only driving okay this point meaning is when we are using clutch that time okay when we are uh, pressing clutch that time the engine and gearbox separated that time only electric motor will connect to the output okay allow only electric motor that time only motor will run the electric vehicle okay engine will disconnecting in normal condition engine and motor both will uh, both both outputs connected to this vehicle next in this paper in the simulation model the clutch model is an ideal on off component okay in simulation in this finger paper simulated only in simulation circuit only on off switch ideal switch used okay for in in place of clutch this is the parallel hybrid vehicle arc structure okay this parallel hybrid vehicle engine and motor this is a battery bank this battery bank connected to the motor input motor output connected to the uh, this clutch okay this is the this is the electrical link the data lines these are the mechanical links motor this thick line these two lines are the mechanical links this engine and gearbox also mechanical link this gearbox output and uh, fixed differential this also mechanical links these two lines are mechanical links these data lines are the electrical link next this is the another second type of uh, hybrid vehicle arc structure is the power split arc structure with the planetary gear train arrangement first i will explain this planetary gear train or arrangement okay this is the gear gear setup in this gear setup planetary have one two three one two three okay here this one is the here also showing this is the uh, this big circle is two okay this inner circle is the here have total three this one is the one okay this large diameter is w2 the small diameter is w3 this one is the w2 okay here w2 w2 here three this one this two uh, this one is here this middle one okay in this planetary gear unit is a three port unit consisting of one is the sun gear second one is the ring gear third one is the yoke okay have three first one is the sun gear this is the one is the sun gear okay this one this second one is the ring gear okay this large one is the ring gear 
this third one is yoke okay this third one is the yoke this this third gear is connected uh, one first gear and the second gear okay this third gear links between first gear and second gear okay this is the three this w3 moving first w1 and w2 this is the planetary gear unit okay this in this arc structure first i will explain this diagram okay this is the engine okay this engine this is the generator here motor okay here this is the battery bank this is the battery bank this is the gearbox setup in this motor engine engine output connected to the gearbox next generator output connected to the gearbox next this evt evt means electrically variable transmission this evt connected to the motor input next motor output connected to the flexible differential okay this way the hybrid arc structure consists consists of electrically variable transmission electrically variable transmission means evt next this vehicle have planetary gearbox connected to the engine and one one electric mission to the generator electric mission means generator okay this planetary gearbox connected to the engine okay this planetary gearbox connected to the engine and one electric one electric mission okay electric mission is here generator these two are connected to this planetary gearbox next the more powerful electric motor is connected to the evt output evt evt output means the ring gear okay this is the evt evt means electrically variable transmission electrically variable transmission electrically variable transmission is output connected to the motor okay this motor output connected to the fixed gear this is the uh, construction design of power split arc structure next the battery banks provides electrical power to two electrical machines this battery bank when generator operating when generator working that time battery will charging next the battery output is connected to the motor okay in regenerative braking also this battery will charging okay these two condition the generator will charging battery when this motor will act as a generator that time also battery will charging when this motor normal condition the battery will give supply to the this motor okay this is here this dotted lines are the electrical links these two lines are mechanical links okay these two are this double lines are mechanical links this is the the dotted lines are the electrical links next the engine is connected to carrier shaft of the planetary gear okay this engine is connected to carrier shaft of the planetary gear this engine is connected to the uh, engine this engine shaft connected to the planetary gear okay next the generator is connected to the sun sun gear while the ring gear is connected to the output of the shaft in this have total three gears one is the sun gear and the second one is the ring gear third one is the yoke okay this sun gear one is the this one the second one is the ring gear large large diameter this this ring gear okay while the ring gear is connected to the output of the shaft output of the shaft means this one okay this one is the connected to the generator output generator output connected to the sun gear and while the ring is connected to the output of the shaft next last point the motor is also connected to the output of the shaft here this motor also connected to the output of the shaft this motor and the ring drive the power train output okay this motor and this gearbox output both connected to both transmit the this vehicle this parallel this power split arc structure vehicle okay this total here design of battery electric vehicle and design of hybrid electrical vehicle this battery electrical vehicle the diagram this one next this design of hybrid electrical vehicle parallel hybrid vehicle and power split hybrid vehicle these two diagrams okay this is the parallel hybrid vehicle diagram this is the power split arc structure with planetary gear arrangement okay thank you thank you for watching this video